My name is Millard Lecompte, L-E-C-O-M-P-T-E. I am a Methodist living in Clementon, New Jersey, and I am a heterosexual. I was born in 1946 and grew up in the Shenandoah Valley in the state of Virginia. When I was a teenager, abortion was illegal and blacks had to go to separate schools, drink out of separate water fountains, could not share the same bus seat or public restroom, and the list goes on. When my mother was a teenager, birth control was illegal and white people couldn't choose to marry black people. Our laws changed when our government began practicing separation of church and state and respecting the right of individuals to privacy. Any religious argument for continuing injustice against gays and lesbians and denying them civil rights is no more logical than making Leviticus 1919 the law of the land, which states, Thou shalt not wear clothing made of blended fabric. <laughs> Everyone is entitled to their views about God and beliefs about what God wants people to do or not do. Everyone, Christians, Jews, Hindus, Muslims, and even the natives of Bongo Bongo have their own different beliefs about God. Those beliefs and their practices belong in people's churches, synagogues, temples, mosques, homes, and huts. They are not relevant to civil rights in a free society where everyone may worship as they wish. When our government protected the sanctity of marriage by making it illegal for a black person to marry a white person, many Ku Klux Klan members were so-called righteous Christians. Those laws were struck down because they were impeding the freedom of American citizens from choosing whom they wish to marry. In the words of President John F. Kennedy, every American ought to have the right to be treated as he would like to be treated, as one would wish to be treated, and one would wish his children to be treated. New Jersey has made great strides towards closing the equality gap, but it is evident that there are still some agencies that do not recognize civil unions as being equivalent to marriage. This fractalization promotes intolerance, and intolerance promotes violence. Ensuring marriage equality ensures dignity and freedom for all. Rights and benefits shrouded in the second-class label of civil union remains unequal for same-sex partners. What mask is your marriage wearing at Halloween, this Halloween? Is it disguised to look like a civil union? Let's strip off the camouflage and reveal civil union's true identity, which is marriage. Thank you.